Okay, now we have Chidebere Ziani in the studio. Ch good morning, good to have you. <laughs> good morning, it's always a pleasure to be back. And finally, with a triumph, I think I've kind of been a good luck to the Tigers, if you, if you think about it. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, me, typically that. Uh, good luck to the Tigers. Yeah. Yeah. She, 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 she read positive in spite of, yeah. you know, some of... Uh, the pessimism that you could sense around you when you look at the preparation. She was optimistic, and it's good we are here now talking about the trial, the success. But, but what are the factors? I mean, I'm just trying to wrap my head around what happened. Is it the coach? Is it the determination of the players? First, you know, first game against Senegal was close. The one in the final wasn't, wasn't as close as... <laughs> what did we do? I'm just trying to understand. I think it's a combination of, uh, of everything. Okay. I said something here before they left. I, I watched the Tigers, the game against the Raptors. Uh, they were being outplayed. Uh, they called for a timeout. The manager spoke to them, and you could see the change, meaning they, ha they have the ability to listen and interpret uh, a coach's instructions, which was very vital. Same in the final. The final, the first quarter, we were being blown away. I, yeah. I was like, what's okay. going on? <laughs> After the first quarter, you could see they, were, yeah. they, they could effectively interpret whatever the coach had told them, uh, you know, on the pitch, uh, on, on the court rather, and, and they could, uh, you know, it, it was it was it was a good game from the second quarter to to the fourth quarter. I think those girls were amazing. I, personally, I think they wanted to win. They wanted to be in exactly. Spain. They, they wanted to be in Spain next year, and and they've they, they've they've worked for it. And and you know, going there as champions is definitely a better bet. You know, when they arrived at the airport, you know that inside the airport, what they were actually doing. The guys arrived with that joy. You know, you could see their dance step and all that. You know, just knowing that okay, this is the first shot we got of them when they arrived before they came out and everything. Just dancing, number one, we are number one. Sira Ogo came there, Inkechia Kasile, you know, uh, Ijo uh, Chioma, and all of them. So I, I felt okay, like these girls just you know went there, just having that determination. When I spoke to the captain later, she said something that they didn't. Never even thought of losing. Even that game against Senegal, you know, they were not thinking of that they were going to lose. They, you know, they knew that they just came on all the way, and they felt the only thing they can do to just finish it off is to come back home with that trophy, and that they did. I, I think there's just something about them. The, okay, take a look at uh, what's his name? Okay. Is it a Kalu? You know, there's just this uh, a kind of a synergy among them. This a kind of joy, or rather, you know, they're like siblings. You won't even know that this girl's okay. That there were six of them were like other, yeah. born in the U.S. and all that. You know, they just ex ex precisely why some of them were also, you know, here and everything. So the fact that they were able to just blend, not thinking of background, you know, not thinking of the fact that okay, I'm a professional, I play the WNBA, you just play local basketball here. It's something that you just look at and just marvel how that blend, you know, was able to just come together and they came back with that trophy. I think it's it's, it's the way the coach approaches them. If you treat people specially than others, it will definitely into Britain, the way they associate with each other. I think the, the, the coach must have, you know, the same instructions to everybody, the same attitude to everybody, and, and that settles it. And of course, personalities is everything that counts. I think when you come to the national side, you know, you're, you, it's just like being in a house of, with your siblings. So I think that worked is definitely in, in our favor. It was good for them. The uniformity was there. The, the best thing that happened is the way we grew with the tournament. We didn't just go out blazing, but we grew with the tournament. And, you know, at the end of the day, it was, it was, it was just perfect. It was perfect. Okay, uh, let's listen to the girls now, you know, on their arrival, what they got to say, and also looking at the World Championship, they know that that is next year. I feel this tree. That's what is happening right now. I feel happy. God is awesome. Ah, we are expecting more, more rewards. We are expecting more games, more victories ahead. So we are preparing. When World Championship we're going to settle it. But right now, we are celebrating this victory, the Afro Basket Champion. For how many years now, we got it now. It's something else. 8-0, no team could beat us. We are, we, we are the undefeated team, undisputed team. So we are so happy. We are rejoicing because we made our nation proud. It feels amazing, really. I mean, in 2015, we were so close. And I felt like I felt how it felt to win. But this is unbelievable. It's nothing like I would have expected. I've won championships before, but this is, I will say, by far the best. So we just have determination. Our coach brought that out of us. We have passion. The way we play defense, offense, we have a lot of heart. And that's what we did. We showed it, and that's how we won. Oh, we really work hard, extra work hard. And with the support we got from the NBBF, you know, that kind of motivates us. And we came together and we play as a team. Oh, 
you know, we girls, we just came out, you know, walk ahead and uh, we talk to each other, you know. We have to come out to represent the country. With, with whatever we have, we have to bring it to the court, and that's what we did. We pay attention, we focus, and uh, with the help of some vision, we all came out there and just play, play our heart out. It feels that the feeling is indescribable. I, I, it's indescribable. I feel wonderful. It's a blessing. It's a huge blessing. The biggest, clearly, blessing of my life, and I, I appreciate it. I'm thankful to God. Well, um, the clock was winding down, and the coach, he was telling me the entire game to shoot the ball because he knows I'm probably one of the best shooters on the team. I'm shooting the ball in in this tournament at almost 50 percent so he said if you're open even if you're not open shoot it be confident shoot it shoot the ball any how you want we have to get shots up and that's the way we'll win so I shot it without hesitation we were enjoying being Afro basket champions but we're also looking ahead to how we can continue to improve Nigeria for the future and next year by September um, by God's grace we'll also finish with a with a medal that's our goal yeah, the goal is also also the goal is to go to the world championship and see if they can get something, right? A medal. I wanna get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Not get it. See, we are champions of Africa. We we are we're permitted to get ahead of ourselves.